we are going to show you how to quote or book in our website. First of all, just go to icontainers.com. Uh, if you don't have an account, you just can create one, put in your basic information, and it will allow you to access the, the website. So we're going to log in. This is the main panel that we are going to get. So be sure to check and do click on the tab of there because it's the main concern of the thing that we're discussing right now. In the origin, we can put a, a city, an airport, or a zip code. Please keep in mind that you will be able to put zip codes not all over the world at the beginning of this stage, but just from the US. So let's try something like, uh, it's going to populate the options. This is the name of the airport. We can check another one. We can go to the, the city. Let's say that we're going to London and it's going to show you the, uh, the options. Let's pick the one that we have. Then we have to put the cargo details. Uh, you can change the measurement. We're going to put something in, in kilograms and you can mix it between kilograms and pounds. Also the same thing with measurements. So we're going to mix kilograms with inches. In this case, let's go with the measure of a regular pallet. Try it in inches. Be sure to check if you are a non or a non shipper. If you are not certain, my recommendation would be to go as a known. That is a more restrictive one. Anyhow, in the process, you will have the, the option to arrange part during the booking process. Then you go for searching rates. And the system is going to populate the different options. The first one that is going to appear is the cheapest one, but you can go through the process, check the airline, check the process. You can, you can see the details of the charges, clicking where we just did. If you are okay with it, then go through the options. Select the one that you want to do. After checking, uh, it's going to ask you for additional services. You may be you may be able to add whatever you want, whatever you see fit. Uh, my recommendation will be like always include uh, insurance. Uh, you can put the cargo of the value, the value of the cargo. And let's say that it's around fifteen hundred dollars. Is going to calculate it and then the information will be included in your quote. Then you go to the next tab. You need to select the commodity. So we're going to general cargo. Uh, you need to, when the cargo is going to be ready, check the date. Let's say that it's going to be ready almost in a week. You're going to check it and then it's going to ask you for the, for the, billing details. So when you are creating the bookings, you'll be able to add addresses and contacts. So you take one of our of your addresses. You go next. We have the option of you can pay for the for the booking right away. The the rate will be we will respect the rate that you choose. You can do the PayPal, there's an issue an additional fee, or you can pay later with a wire transfer. This is the most common one, so you can use that one. It's going to be updating all the information as you add services and as you progress to the website. Be sure to click that, that you understand the terms and conditions. You can click them in detail here, and then you confirm the booking. So basically, that's it. Our operations department will contact you with uh, more details because as you know, you're going to need more documentation and more information, but that's all you have to do on your end. Our operations department will take care of the rest. You will see this page and you have the information in your dashboard. So uh, you will have uh, an operational uh, operator is going to contact you and they will be your point of contact for whatever you may need. Thank you very much.